What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, I got a good one for you guys today. Um, talk about mechanical parts. My guy, it looks like there's hieroglyphs, statues that have been broken. Uh, just mechanical parts strewn all over this area. And, and again, this is for the people who believe, oh my God, here we go. These guys are just looking at rocks. Fine. Again, this is just a small challenge. After the video, tell me these are all rocks. And then tell me why you believe they are. But anyway, okay. A couple of things before I get started. One, I, I well, I added two more channels to my home channel. If you go to my home channel, look at the bottom of the page, you'll see two more channels that I've added that I believe people are doing a good job. Uh, one of them, uh, he, his first name's Mark. He goes by Truth Seeker. Check him out. He's just like our other, uh, the other guys that are doing these, uh, my other friends that are doing these uh, Mars anomalies and stuff like that. Check them out because him as well as them, but check him out uh, over at Truth Seeker because he's doing the same thing. He's not only showing you how that NASA is going about lying, <laughs> we all know that, but he's showing you how they're doing it. And he does it in several different videos. It's pretty wild. He does one about, uh, I don't know if it's uh, Saturn or Jupiter. I forget which one it was, but how they blatantly like just mockered this thing right out. One of the moons, right out the back of the moon. It's really wild. But um, check him out. And another one too, this one, I love this. Um, uh, there's another girl there that's doing these mods and anomalies too. She goes by Amazon KC. Now, it's, I, th I just love the idea of this because here's the thing. It's the other gender now doing it. Now, women, before you beat me up, please don't. Oh, and I mean, don't, no disrespect. All I'm saying is that I love the idea. I'm not saying that women can't do videos. Oh, my God. Do you know how many videos are on here that are, that are women? I love this. But the idea of women doing anomalies. This girl, Amazon Casey, does the same thing. She literally goes step by step. She used a filter. She's using Photoshop. She's just starting off. I think she's... Um, I believe her videos went back to seven months ago, but I think she's got like uh, 19 of them somewhere on there, but she's getting more and more into these Mars anomalies. And I hope that these, I hope both women, both Nikki uh, on her channel, this is called, the, like I said, the uh, Wraith woman. So now we got Nikki as well as Amazon Casey. I love this. I hope more women get involved with this guys. So women, keep it up, do your thing, rock and roll. Um, now I'm doing a, uh, a, the same picture that she was doing. It's uh, from uh, Sol 610, uh, if I didn't already say that. And um, so now I'm going to show you how, oh my God, just, just the stuff in this thing will just blow your mind. You know this stuff is not artificial. Well, it is artificial. It's not, no, it's not natural. That's what I meant to say. But anyway, it's not naturally occurring or in nature. So anyway, and of course, guys, you guys will get the links. You know that. You'll get the, she actually covers, I believe, two pictures in Sol 610. I'm not going to tell you what she, what, she, what she found. So you guys can just go to my page, go to the bottom of my, my home page, check her out, uh, Amazon KC, as well as my buddy Mark over the, the Truth Seeker. Check these channels out. I think, you guys will be, I think you guys will like them. Anyway, this is the picture that you get. Now, this is just, this is funky. This is great. I mean, just, uh, what camera takes a picture like that? I mean, it's, it's, they've actually increased the uh, contrast so much that you can literally see lines in the picture here. Right in here, you can actually, if I go back out just a hair bit, you can actually see all on the side right here. There's all a bunch of pictures, uh, like lines and, oh, it looks like compression marks, although we're not zoomed in. Okay. This is one of the things that I have to agree with uh, Amazon Casey. She did this here. Now, look at this crap. I get the compression marks. You can see this all over the picture. Makes sense. Of course, we all know that. Okay. What doesn't make sense is this blurring. Now, you may not see that too much, but you will see it here. Watch this. See if I can find this rock. I mean, it's just this. I mean, anywhere, any rock you look at is just complete mess. Um, there's one in here that I, I'm trying to remember where the heck it was at. Well, this one's all blurred out. You can actually see that. Um, just about all of these, believe it or not, guys, are not rocks. <laughs> they really are not rocks. They are, look at this. Compression marks, yes. Blurriness, not good. Where do you see the blur in here? You really don't see too much of it, but you will see it right on this rock right here. This one is completely blurred out. Look at this. And you can see where they actually did it. Right here, it comes down, goes across, goes back up, goes across. <laughs> Look at this. You can clearly, well, blurly, see the way they did this. Are you guys kidding me? Okay. So let me jump back on this. Now, what I did was, I'm going to show you the steps, but I'm going to show you, I did snapshots. A lot of people do layers. I don't do layers because I can just do snapshots. And then off any snapshot, I can then manipulate from there. Okay. So that's the only reason why I do that. Um, okay. 
And guys, I'm going to show you something right now. You don't even have to do anything to this picture, and you can see stuff popping right out of this thing. Um, right here, there's like a bracket sticking out over here. I'm going to show you that. Let's bring that down to the corner. Right over, if I can find it. <laughs> right in, where did it go? It's even hiding on me now. Well, check this out. You can actually see like a small pipe or something right here. And something right there. Man, this thing is so camouflaged. I'm even having a, a problem seeing it. But anyway, I'll get back to that in a second. You'll love this. All right. Check this rock out. Is this a rock or not? Look at this rock, the way it comes up, goes across, and comes down. And it's just, like, of course, you can see all these pixelation marks. But look at this. There's a circle right here. And you're going to see that a whole lot clearer in a minute. And this, this rock will also blow your mind. It's not just a rock. I don't believe it's just a rock. And you're going to see this in a minute that it looks like something totally different. Check this out. Look at all the blurring on this one. I'm just like, whoa, what is going on here? Look at this. Totally blurred out. Come on. All in this rock here. I mean, these are not rocks. These are obviously, they're trying to block out things that are made by another civilization. Okay, check this out. Now, what I did on this, I'm going to show you after. I Basically, I blur out. You know, what, what I'll do is blur to get rid of any compression marks. Then I'll resharpen. But I'm going to use some contrast as well as, uh, you know, uh, so, you know you want to adjust your contrast as well as your your brightness. And I also um, will get rid of the color. So desaturate because a lot of times they'll color so much it'll bleed into other things in high detail. So we don't want to do that. So let's go to the first snapshot. I'm going to show you this right now. Watch the way this pops out. Okay. Now that's the first step right off the bat. Now watch this. Look at on the right hand, on the left side, right here. Right where this dropper is. Look at the details inside this, whatever this is. Okay? And there's something right here that's rectangular. It looks like it's got two dark holes in it. Look at the way this thing is mechanical. It looks like it's mechanical in nature. It has these weird things coming down with this round circle in it. And something that's sticking off the back side of this. Here's that circle I was telling you about. Right there. It comes down. It's got this weird frame or whatever this is. Now look at the way they just kind of blotch this thing out. And then they've got this, I don't know if this is like this white steel shaft or whatever this is right here. There's something round, and then it goes to the back. Okay. All right. This, well, here's, that, here's the bracket I was telling you about right here. It's right here, sticking in. It's like a round U-shaped or U-bolt kind of thing going on. It's flat and goes all the way in here. It comes right, out, right from here over is out, sticking out. And from this point on, it's sticking out. But you can see it inside this piece. Pretty wild. How about this right here? Look at this garbage on this rock. This is this is insane. Look at this. It's like it's all digitized out. It's just completely blocked out. Okay. Now, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to back out a little bit. And I'm going to pop it out a little bit more, make it a little bit brighter. Now, this was pretty wild to me because look at this. Look at this right here. Right here. And you can see where they try to blur it over. Like, just make it straight over so you couldn't see these. Watch this. You almost can't see that. But look at the way this right here completely blurred out this is the reason why you can't see this stuff but when you do this check this out there's some kind of bracketing it goes across comes down down here goes across back over here and up and then there's some kind of weird whatever that is inside there but it looks like it's got this weird bracketing or handle this to me looks like some weird fallen statue look at the way this thing is right here and i've seen kc do this i hope she does this take this thing and actually put it back together because look at right here right here there's like this little divot well, it looks like it's, it's like it's kind of fudged out. And there's another one right on the other side. It looks like it actually broke apart. And when it fell on the ground, it just broke apart. And if you turn your head to the right, it looks like this weird little face. Like eye, eye, a mouth. Looks like a, some claws or some kind of weird hand with, a, with a, maybe a leg right here. It Well, because it could be a statue. I mean, I'm not saying it's an, a live animal. But anyway, when you look at this stuff, look at the detail in this right here. Now, I don't know if there's multiple things sitting right here and they try to block this out because, again, look at the blur in this. Right there. Completely blurred out in this picture. That is just unreal. The blurring going on in here is just insane. Okay. So, anyway, like right here, like I said, look at the way this looks like it's been broken away from this other half. Or this other pod because that's not a half. But, okay. Swing over to this side. There's that weird-looking funky thing. It's no longer a rock. It's actually good detail. Look at this. Oval. Longer oval. 
or at least one side of or one end of the oval, and there's like little details in that thing. Okay? Again, here's that round piece. This is what I was talking about, this rock. Look at the way this thing goes down, or kind of has this weird shape to it right there. And then it goes around, and all of a sudden, it looks like a piece of glass type thing. See how it, like, it goes across? Like it doesn't stop, but yet you can see whatever this is behind it, and you can just see it back here a little bit in between this. It's almost like it's a piece of transparency or some kind of piece of, I don't know, fixed uh, plastic or glass or something. Or it's just a frame of something. But it's not the same brightness or contrasted item as it is from here to here. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can give me a take as always because I'm not sure what the stuff is. But look, just look around. Look at this. U-shaped piece right here. Anything right here. Round circle. Little pieces with detail. This right here. All of these weird, funky shapes that don't look like rocks. They just clearly do not look like rocks. Um, this was this was kind of wild to me. This is what I what I think. It looks like some kind of weird hieroglyphs. It comes out right here. Comes out, up, over, down, and over to here. There's also another one right here doing the same thing. See that right there? Down. Another one right here. Boom, over, up, around, and then goes into another piece. And you can see what looks like these weird features on it. And it has like this weird, I don't know if that's some kind of little weird top piece. And this is like like a statue or something. And it's smiling. I, I, I don't know. I'm just taking stabs at this, guys. But look at this weird, looks like a square with something in the center of it. This, what looks like, look at this. It looks like a pipe standing out of it, sitting right out of this, just sticking right out of it. And it's been blurred. And it's just these, all these funky details, man. It's just, it's insane. This thing is strewn with mechanical pots, statues, um, you name it. Uh, again, here's that bracket sticking out. Look at this piece right here in the back. Over, kind of comes around, goes up. And just look at the weird one. Goes across and then back down. And it has these lines in the middle of it. This is just, a, it looks like a mess to me. See where they blurred that? This is the reason why it's hard to see the exact face of this thing. Because that's what they're doing to these pictures. So it's really hard to pull it out unless you just look at the shapes. So, and of course, it's anybody's best guess. You know that. Um, comes down, goes across, down, weird piece right here. And again, we can do this. And you can see exactly where they blurred out, trying to hide what's really in here. Okay. So what I do is I actually think I tried to blur it out again. Okay. I'm going to keep it shopping for now. Here's some more weird pots. This looks like it broke it, broken away from this. It looks kind of smooth right there. Like this might have broken away from it. Maybe it fell and it broke. I don't know. But, I mean, these are kind of hard to see. But, look at this right here. There's like this square on the ground. And you can just see that's kind of fudged out. And it's got this weird little round piece. And just look around. I mean, just look at the parts that are just laying around in here. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. It really is. There was something else in here that was pretty interesting. Look at this square right here. Right there. You see it goes down, across, well, towards the front, back up, and back. I mean, every way you looked at look at this. Look at this weird thing right here. It's like round. Got this piece going over it. Another piece going over it. Coming down, straight over to here. Nice flat bottom. Goes across to the back. Come on, guys. This is These are rocks? If these are rocks, man, Mother Nature is just insane. That's all I can say. Um... Now, I'm going to try to enhance this a little bit for you guys, too. This over here. This thing on the rock, or whatever this thing is. This is definitely not a rock. I mean, you can just see a round circle, a different frame thing that is. All right, watch this. Let's see if we can't pop this out a bit. See the way that looks now? All right, let's do this. Let's stop from scratch. You can see we have brightness and contrast. Shadows and highlights. you got to get rid of the shadows and highlights. That's everything in this pit, in these pictures. Desaturate. And this is basically what I did to the rest of the picture. So you guys get the idea. Brightness and contrast. Shadows and highlights. Desaturate. So you can get any kind of color bleed off. And then blur it. Okay, you go, well, that's really blurry. I can't see that. Well, then do a smart shopping. Because once you go to your shopping up here, go to your shopping. And then you can scroll down to the smart shopping right here. And, of course, you can adjust it. Mine is at... Uh, it's usually around 125 to 150, and I think the bottom one is like 1.0. You'll see like the two selections or the two settings on there. Um, smart shopping. And I brought the uh, the bottom, I forget what they call it, but it's uh, like an offset kind of thing. 
I think I brought it to almost uh, like 3.5 or something like that to really get this to pop. Now, and then I gave it a little color, but you can see that's like right there, longer piece. There's something going from the top. It goes up, jar, it kind of like goes up, slides to the right, goes up. Got these other little features in there. Look at the way this thing comes around. Oh, this thing is just, this, this thing is nuts. This thing is absolutely insane. So check that out, guys. I mean, like I said, if these are rocks, Mother Nature's got a really sick sense of humor. Um, and she's good. That's all I can say. But now, again, look at this right here. This weird thing coming over, over, and over. Just look around at the small pods. Guys, I'll leave it up to you guys. I know you guys will find something insane in this. But to me, this looks like a giant fallen statue right here. And if, like I said, tilt your head all the way to the right, it looks like some kind of little weird animal with little eyes, a mouth. It looks like it's got claws on it and like a little statue. Now, this might have been stone. I mean, I don't know. Um, and clearly, this looks like it made it up to this bottom piece. And it might have actually stood up like right over here. I don't know. Uh, again, I'm just guessing because we don't know. Uh, some people are like, oh, here we go with the speculation. Um, is there anything other than speculation? Uh, we can't take a trip up to this planet and I can show you whether it is or isn't. Come on, man. Um, that goes under the no crap list. But anyway, let me throw a little... I do this right here. Let me just throw a little color into this. Like I said, you can go to any of these snapshots and just uh, just go from there. Any one of them. And now, I'll usually I'll try to put some... Depending on how you can try to get these details to pop... That's what I'll use. Like, if we looked at this right here, this hieroglyph-looking thing. All right, let's bring out the red instead. And you can see that thing pop right out. So we're going to leave that like that, and then take a look around. There's that bracketing part. There's something right there that's square laying right there. Okay, look at the way these things are, and then look at the way these things are just really messed around with. Come on, man. That doesn't even... Even if you were to say, well, it's a natural rock. Well, show me a natural rock that shows that in nature. There's these weird, funky patterns. It's not because it's a pattern. It's because it's been blurred out. <laughs> you can clearly see that. So, yeah. Check that out. This right here. Any one of these things is insane, guys. Just look at the... Everything around. Look at this nice square sitting right on the ground. Almost perfect, you know, square just laying there. You can see how thick it is. Just laying right there on the ground. There's something right here. Almost looks like this weird... Like if you were to look at a cathedral or something like that, it kind of goes straight up, goes over, and look at the weird perfect line. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Goes across. Looks like there. looks like a half round circle right there, but can't be sure. Look at it. Just, a, just the details in these things. Look at this. Looks like something comes up, goes around. Like I said, most of these people, you know, I've seen this lately on uh, my buddy's channel. Like one guy just said, uh, well, I subscribed to you. He's talking to him. I just subscribed to you and hoping that you weren't just uh, these other anomalies channels just looking at rocks, thinking something, you know, every, every rock is something. Well, I don't know. You tell me. You uh, Do you really think that they just sent this rover up there, lollygag, and just, hey, hit, throw him a, you know, a Polaroid? Which, of course, a Polaroid would take a better picture. But just to go up there and just, oh, I'll just take a run around and just see what's up there. No. These have been, I'm telling you right now, this is exploded civilization. And whatever happened to this planet, God knows. But I'll take you through each step. Garbage, of course. I'm going to back up just a hair bit more. And you guys can just uh, do your own magic on it. But snapshot. Again. And then I just kind of go off and, and I actually blurred a little bit and I go back to it. And there is that other piece there because I wanted to show you guys. And then I just... Throw some color in it because, like I said, sometimes a color will actually enhance more detail, and that's what you're looking for. I mean, really, truly, that's what we're doing. We're just trying to find whatever this is. I don't know what this stuff is. You guys can always, like I said, you guys always get the last word. You tell me what the take is on it. Just look at any of these rocks, the detail on them, um, and tell me what you think. If you find something uh, I haven't looked at, something that's clearly sitting on the, on the surface, I mean, look at this right here. Boom. Goes up. Perfect straight line back down something's got this weird bracket or some kind of weird line going up and down it other things i mean oh my god anyway guys give me your take on it let me know what you think um you know what i mean it's anybody's guess what this stuff is but i can tell you this is definitely statues you know mechanical parts um just a 
It's just signs of everywhere you look on this mountain. It's intelligent civilization we used to be here. Point blank. I'm hoping, man, I, you know, NASA will finally just come, tr you know, just come out with the truth. I mean, that's it. But anyway, guys, once again, check out the other two channels I just added to my uh, homepage. Check them out. Uh, like I said, Amazon Casey as well as Mark over there at uh, uh, Truth uh, Seeker. These guys are just trying to make an honest effort. I mean, they find things that uh, and they give you their interpretation, what it may be. Whether we you believe any of these videos or what these things are, what we say they are, doesn't matter. The point is you can almost bet 99% of them, they're intelligently made and they're not artificial. Anyway, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. It's always appreciated. If you guys are just, you know, viewing uh, and, you know, you just uh, just sub. Uh, you'll be able to see the newest videos coming out. Uh, I got some more coming up. It's pretty crazy. Um, I also got, I also got a, a collaboration going on with a couple of the other guys. We're going to do some videos. We're going to try them out and see how they work out. And we're going to go from there. But anyway, guys, as always, I always appreciate you guys watching. Anybody who's jumped on board, thank you. I do appreciate it. I'm doing this to find the truth, plain and simple. That's why I want you guys and I want your take. I want you guys to tell me what you think this stuff is. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next pick.